Okay, so we all know that golf is getting a touch too expensive, but here in the United States of America, I went to the good folks at Dick Sporting Goods just yesterday, and I picked up a driver for, get this, $100. It was in the sale, it's brand new, you can see the wrapper is still on it, I'll talk you through it all in this video. We're gonna take it out for a few holes here at PGA Frisco, and we're gonna test it on the Golf Sun Simulator to see just how it performs against the driver five times the price. Guys, get in the comments below, how much did you pay for your current gamer? Did you buy it brand new? And just exactly what brand is it? Because I guarantee not many of you, you will be using this. Okay, as you can probably hear, it's a very, very breezy day here at Field Ranch on the West Coast. We're off the very, very back tees, and I have a top flight Matrix driver. Like I said, I mean, the lady in the shop didn't really know much about it. I asked her about the COR, and I asked her about the technology, if it had twist face or not. She didn't really know. She did try selling me a bottle of Prime, though, and it didn't come with a head cover either, which I was quite upset about. Right, putting this down, it looks very, very forgiving. It's got a lovely colour scheme. I'm going to talk through the shaft in a moment as well, because the shaft could well be $110 alone. Remember, $110 is around £75? Go figure. Right. First shot with it. How does it sound and how does it go? Huge toe on this club. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to take that all day. That is a lovely low fade straight down the middle. Now, I could have got 10 and a half degree. I opted for nine and a half degrees with this club. And as you can see, it does feature an Aldilla NV shaft. We don't know exactly what stiffness because it just says men's, which is ridiculous, but let's go. I must admit, as opening tee shots go, right out the middle, maybe a touch out the toe, really, really thick grooves there, nice tee mark. And it was actually $99. It was the tax maybe that took that up just a little bit. We also bought some golf balls at Dick's Boy and Good, so make sure you check out that video. Let's go and find another tee box and hit some balls off and see just how good this top flight driver can be for $99. Right, I would have loved this to come with a head cover. Unfortunately, it didn't, so it probably will get a little bit battered, potentially, especially in a buggy. But what do you think of the colour scheme? I quite like it. I like the black, I like the green, I like the face on it. It definitely feels like more of a forgiving driver. It doesn't feel like a player's driver. Chris, I can't wait for you to have a go at this as well, because your club head speed's that touch higher than mine. I'm not sure if the men's shaft flex will suit both of us. 65 gram though, a nice weight. Yeah, perfect weight. Aldilla shaft as well. So this is, that was an upgrade shaft back in the day. Strange oh. how Top Flight have gone for that in a very, very budget product. What a golf course this is, by the way. Spectacular resort here at PGA Frisco. Okay, so first impressions of this driver. I really enjoyed that as an opening tee shot. We're gonna delve more into the technology and we're gonna delve more into just how it performs for numbers and everything in a few moments time. But this opening hole here on the West Course, 600 yards. Um, okay, fair to say we have a long way in, but that is a fairway tick for $99. I always enjoy testing golf products this way as well, coming to a rather difficult golf course, seeing how it can stack up. I think we just wanna hit it at that water tower and hope for the best with this one. A little bit like that. I'll do a nice, we should be able to get on the green from there, hopefully. We'll complete this hole, see if we can save a par with the $99 driver, because let's face it, it's important how a driver performs, but it's also important how you can score with it. So, because yes, it is important, your ball speed and your spin rate and your carry distance, but if you can keep a cheaper driver in play more than you can potentially a more expensive driver, which one should you go for? Guys, comment below, what do you think to that? Right, wind off the right. Quite a small green, this, for such a long hole. Guys, do me a favour and get in the comments below and let me know just how important is keeping a driver in play. To me, that feels obvious, but a lot of people would just prefer something that goes a long way on a launch monitor. Alex Etchers. Be good. Be good for distance. And that is a chance at a birdie with a $99 Dix driver. Okay, so there's me saying that this is a small green for a 600 yard hole. It's actually just half of it's hidden. Um, so I'm quite glad that I did just think it was a small green. We've got this for a birdie, and I wouldn't have anticipated that. I mean, obviously, once the drive's away, the drive's away, but really looking forward to testing this against the paradigm I have in the bag and seeing just exactly how much difference there is. Right. Come on. It's a great roll. Just turn, just turn. That is the easiest par you're ever going to make on a 600-yard opening hole with a driver that costs 
just $99. Okay, so we managed to negotiate the first hole here at PJ Frisco Fields Ranchers with the $99 driver. Quite an enjoyable shot. We're going to delve straight in now. We're going to put the Golf Song Wave down and see just exactly how it does perform because it is important how driver performs and a lot of golf geeks out there like myself want to know what spin rate you're getting, want to know what ball speed you're getting and want to know just potentially how forgiving it is because if this one is way less forgiving than the Paradigm, is it worth the money or should you get something maybe second hand on a similar budget? That's going to be the big real thing that you want to know. So let's send some down this fairway. Can we keep them in play and can we get the distance we want? That felt phenomenal. 257 carry, total distance 274. Club edge speed very, very good. Spin rate 2,800 and a ball speed of 154. That is very, very, very enjoyable. Right, that's position A. That is position A. And guys, I hit loads of shots with this top flight driver and my Callaway Paradigm. And the numbers were slightly different. I was getting quite a little bit more ball speed with the Paradigm, as you can imagine, at around 160. And I was topping out around 155 with the top flight with an average distance of 255, as opposed to about 270 with the Paradigm. So as you can see, very, very consistent dispersions there. We have the two balls from the Dick Sporting Goods top flight driver bang next to each other. And we have the Paradigm just up there. It did read us 10 yards further. So that's what we have and the second paradigm over there to the right hand side. So very, very consistent. I think this could be the steal of the century for $99, even without a head cover. Okay, so rather impressed with this off the tee, rather impressed with it numbers wise against my paradigm. Let's have a couple more shots with this and see if we can crank it out there. Lovely reflective top. Really, I've not really talked you through much about how this driver looks. So as you can see, it's rather a strange shape. It's called a TI matrix. So I believe this kind of shape on the bottom is designed for aerodynamics and it also has that titanium face which is why to be honest it does sound so good really impressed with how it sounds and how it feels sound is obviously a big correlation to feel now looks wise looking down you can see it's got a really really big toe there as well as a shiny face so as soon as you kind of put that down on the ground you can see if you want an anti-right driver this might well be a great driver for you there were more top flight drivers on the shelf but this was the cheapest one so i wanted to buy the cheapest one and show you guys just how it can perform. I know it didn't go quite as far as a paradigm with the numbers, but I think for the price that stands up to it really, really, really well. And I spoke earlier about the Aldilla shaft. It's a top flight special. So it's got the same graphics as the Aldilla NV, but I can't believe it is the same shaft for that price, especially because it says a 65 men's flex. I think that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, but it does look quite nice in there and matches the graphics on the bottom. Also really impressive that I've managed to kind of flight it down as well. I like that they do an option of a nine and a half degree because a lot of more budget drivers just come in 10 and a half and they almost feel like, oh, well, it's not designed for a player who wants to keep that ball flat down with this. You can do that. Let's see if we can hit the fairway a couple of times and thread these bunkers up towards that green. It does look a bit shocking when you first put it down, but can be forgiven for shots like that, e like ease of use wise, this has to be up there with more of the forgiving drivers. Guys, if you wanna see me take this back to the UK, test it against more forgiving drivers in a little bit more of a head to head, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and throw a like on this video. Comment below if you'd like to see that. Now let's absolutely nuke one up this hill and see how close we can get to this 350 yard par four. Right, this is getting everything with the top flight matrix, everything. Spine angle back, big turn. And for that not to move as much in the air is quite remarkable. Guys, let's go up there. Let's see exactly how far we have left in because realistically, I haven't hit a bad drive with this club. And for $99, if you don't hit a bad drive with this club, it could well be the investment of the century. So guys, we did also buy some budget golf balls from Dick Sporting Goods. Dick Sporting Goods, we don't really have anything like it at home in the UK. We have American golf, we have clubhouse golf, we have specialist golf retailers, but we don't have kind of mass sports places unless it's like Sports Direct, but they literally just stock a load of rubbish. So could you go to Dick's, could you get a $99 driver and then some $20 Wilson golf balls, which we have ready to test, and could you play some pretty good golf? Let's go up and see where they are. And then we have a small matter of the golf ball video coming up very soon. 
I got off thinking that Chris was going to drop me at one of these white things in the fairway. The golf balls are all the way up there and up there respectively. They are absolutely massive drives on this hole. 350 yards, I'm going to have 50 yards left in. Is this the steal of the century? Guys, again, in the comments below, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash that subscribe button below. I'll do a little bit more with this if you want to see it and compare it to maybe some second-hand forgiving drivers from golf clubs for cash and see maybe if you should buy something new but cheap or buy something second-hand with a bit more tech to it. I might have to buy a head cover for the flight home though. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button and I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. That's literally going to stop a birdie chance with a $99 driver. Just enjoyable par golf with a $99 driver. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. If you want to see me take this driver home, then throw a like on it. And I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.